I just wanted to record a short quick video demonstrating the Canon 5D Mark II locking mode dial modification. Recently Canon announced the uh, made a, a product advisory notice for their 5D Mark II and 7D cameras where you can send them in to have the mode dial replaced with a new mode dial with a locking mechanism such that the mode dial will not rotate unless the center unlock button is pressed while you rotate the dial. The reason why Canada decided to make this available is because some people, uh, myself included, have had issues where uh, you'll be shooting in a specific mode, such as manual. You'll set down your camera into a camera bag, or perhaps you'll have it on a strap and slung to the side of your body, and the uh, mode dial gets bumped and it rotates to another setting, perhaps bulb or one of the custom settings or shutter priority or whatever. But basically, let's say I'm, I was in manual mode, I'll take a shot and then I'll put the camera to my side on the strap, you know, slung over my shoulder. It gets bumped and gets moved all the way to, you know, uh, shutter priority mode, changing my setting completely. Then I'll take, you know, I won't notice it until I bring my camera to my eye, take another shot, and the settings are all off because I was in shutter priority instead of manual like I expected. Um, so basically, I decided to, since I've had this issue, I decided to take my Canon 5D Mark II to the Canon Service Center in Irvine, since it's a short drive for me, or fairly short. Dropped it off uh, last Tuesday uh, evening, or afternoon, before they closed. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, they sent me notice that it was ready to go. They shipped it out Wednesday, and I got it Thursday. So it was basically a two-day turnaround time. Um, so this is the camera, um, fresh out of the box. I put my 85 1.2L on it, just for balance. But uh, basically you'll see that the modal does not move. Uh, currently I have it on manual, so if it gets bumped, the modal doesn't move. Let's say I want to set to C3, because I have some custom settings on C3 for when I'm shooting uh, with the studio strobes. All I do is press the center button, rotate the knob, and I'm now on C3, my custom settings. If I want to go back to aperture priority, I can just press the center button, go to aperture, aperture priority. Um, seems to be work, you know, seems to rotate fairly well. If I need to, I can try to manipulate it with a single finger with some tension, but anyway, it seems to work fairly well. I mean, as far as unlocked, you know, to press to unlock and turn. We'll see how it holds up in a real shoot, but I think this should serve fairly well for me. Um, in the U.S., this modification is uh, priced at $100. Uh, some people think that's kind of expensive. Personally, um, when you take into account the fact that that includes the return shipping, which is, you know, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to $15, depending on how much, I mean, you know, they insure it for. You know, this is a $2,500, roughly $2,200, $2,300 camera body. Um, so the cost of the shipping was around $15. Um, not to mention the fact that I believe Canon cleaned the sensor for me as well according to the invoice. So for $100 it's the parts and labor for the uh, installing and putting on the locking mode dial um, plus the cleaning assuming they did the cleaning like the invoice said and uh, return shipping $100 is a fairly nominal and fair price in my opinion to get a feature and this in that I need for shooting. Um, I guess it's personal preference. If you decide you don't want it for a hundred dollars, then you know don't get it. If you decide you want it, then go for it. Um, I also own the 7D, so I'm still debating. I'm going to debate whether or not I'm going to get that one done. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to try this out, and if I think this is worthwhile for me on the 5D Mark II, I'll go ahead and send my 7D in next month. Um, that's pretty much it. And there you go.